Alright, what the hell is cracking on my brothers? It's boy Arasoria, and I know it's been a long ass time since I've talked about Lego Star Wars, and when I say that, I'm not talking about the video games, bitch. I'm talking about the actual minifigures themselves, you know what I mean? Because it's not that I don't like the Lego community, it's just the fact that the only reason why I don't make videos on LEGO sets themselves anymore is mainly just because LEGO is expensive as hell and I only realized that in early 2019 that was the last time I ever bought a LEGO set because I realized to myself you know what I can't keep up with this shit it's too expensive you know what I mean and so I haven't bought another LEGO set ever since January 2019 but if the LEGO Ideas Naruto set gets greenlit because that set has gotten 10,000 supporters on Lego Ideas, then I will make an exception and I will purchase that set for 50 or 60 dollars depending on how much pieces that set has. But it looks like it has somewhere around 500 to 600 pieces. But, anyways, that's not what I'm here to talk about. Today, I'm gonna be talking about Lego Star Wars collectible minifigure series potential. Now, most likely that's not going to happen but despite that a lot of little kids out there and even the lego community themselves have really wanted lego star wars collectible minifigures series kind of like with the lego collectible minifigure series that don't have to do with star wars whether it's the lego movie or the lego batman movie or just like lego city in general but today I'm going to be talking about why I don't think that is a very good idea and why it's actually a pretty bad idea. <clears throat> Excuse me, I just burped. But yeah, I really don't think that's a great idea. And here's why. Now, everyone knows May the 4th, right? And everyone knows that sometimes Lego would do something for May the 4th, whether it's a minifigure or some sort of Lego model, something like that. I mean, they used to do minifigures, but they don't do that anymore. I really wish they would go back to minifigures. And the thing is, if Lego was to do a Lego collectible minifigure series, then doing a special minifigure for May the 4th would be completely out of the question. You know what I mean? And not only that, but super cool and exclusive LEGO Star Wars minifigures. There's no way in hell that LEGO would sell minifigures like that for only $4, you know what I'm saying? And not only that, but if LEGO were to do a collectible minifigure series, it would also take away multiple ideas for new LEGO Star Wars sets that have yet to been made. For example, everyone wants a remake of the Zam Wessel versus Anakin and Obi-Wan set, you know, where they're on those two ships in, what's that one planet called? It's called, I think it was, yeah, on Coruscant. It was on Coruscant, right? I can't believe I forgot about that name, all right? I've been a fan of Star Wars for over a decade. What the hell is wrong with me? I don't know. But anyways, regardless, the only time they ever made a set based on that scene in Attack of the Clones was back in 2002, and they haven't remade it since then. And to a lot of people, that's very baffling because despite Attack of the Clones' reputation, that scene is one of the better scenes in that movie, one of the most popular scenes ever, and Sam Wessel, that minifigure in that Lego set, is a super exclusive character. And the fact that they have yet to remake that set, well, maybe they will remake it for 2022, but the fact that they have yet to remake that set is very baffling to a lot of fans. And everyone wants to see a remake of the Sam Wessel minifigure in a new modern form kind of the way she looks like in the lego star wars the force awakens video game but the thing is if they were to make a lego star wars collectible minifigure series and they put the new exclusive zam wessel figure in that series then that would literally take away the idea of at that point they would not be able to make the set that everyone wants so bad all right it's not just the minifigures that were great it was the set themselves you know the two ships on Coruscant that Anakin and Obi-Wan were riding and Zem Wessel ship itself you know what I mean so and another example is they never made Luke's hut on Tatooine 
and they never made an Aunt Beru minifigure either. They only made an Uncle Owen minifigure, so if they were to make a Lego collectible minifigure series and put Aunt Beru in that, then that would literally take away one of the ideas of making Luke's hut as an actual Lego set that they have yet to make. Like, if they made that set, they have to put Aunt Beru in there. I mean, they put Uncle Owen for the sand car. They should put Aunt Beru for the hut, you know what I mean? And... Once again, I don't think it's likely, but I just want to open the LEGO community's third eye just to tell them that, hey, this is not a very good idea. You shouldn't do LEGO Star Wars collectible minifigure series because it will literally take away ideas. Like, if they made a LEGO Amperu and put it in a minifigure series, they wouldn't be able to make a Luke's Hut. Or if they made a Zam Wessel and put it in a collectible minifigure series, they wouldn't be able to make a Coruscant Chase with Anakin, Obi-Wan, and Zam Wessel. You know what I mean? And there's more reasons that go into far more depth. I'm going to leave a link to this one video in the description that I was just watching this morning. And I think it goes into better depth than I went into. I mean, I did bring up one or two points that he brought up, but I mentioned up an extra point that no one else has brought up for some damn reason. I honestly think that's the biggest reason is that it will take away ideas for Lego Star Wars sets to make. You know what I mean? There would be less Lego Star Wars sets. They would only focus on the minifigures and it would just, it wouldn't be very good. So with that being said, thank all my brothers for watching this video. I love all of you. And once again, I do believe that there's more reasons and I'll leave it in, down in the description. And if you're part of the Lego community and you're watching this video, I hope this video opened up your third eye. And I'll see you all next time.